In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning of God. All things were to Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the light light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Greetings, this is Father Sam Moorhead, Rector of the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, and with it also Pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary on the Auraria campus. We've come to our summer ordinary time in full. It is now the 12th week of ordinary time beginning this Sunday. Let's begin this time together, this Rector's Report with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty and Eternal God, Holy and Blessed Trinity, we adore you profoundly. We thank you for the life of grace that you have given us in Christ through the church by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that we can come to know you, follow you, fall in love with you, and serve you in this life and be with you forever in the next. Be with us and bless us now and always. We entrust ourselves, our families, our friends, our time, this time, to you through the prayers of Our Lady Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I missed you all with these broadcasts the last few weeks. After I did my pilgrimage in England, I had a bit of vacation time that kept me from this. And then I just had life happen, of course, next last weekend. So a belated Father's Day to all fathers from last weekend. Here is our brief rector's report as we are in the fullness of the summer time of the year, and many of our activities are lying low until the start of the new school year. First of all, beware, there will be road closures this Sunday, the 25th of June. There is a big massive parade that will become an inconvenience for persons wishing to get to Sunday Masses, especially at the 10.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. Masses, on Sunday the 25th. It'll run right down in front of the Cathedral Basilica. And so if you wish to come to Mass, you might find it more convenient to come to another Mass, not the 10.30 or the 12.30 p.m. Mass this weekend. Or if you still wish to come, and of course we wish to have you at any and all of our Masses at the Cathedral Basilica on Sunday morning especially, please plan ahead. Check road closures and find ample time to get parking, to get across Colfax, and to get into our Cathedral Basilica for the Mass. So we look forward to seeing you, and just know that we've got this parade and massive road closures that are going to be an inconvenience to us getting to Mass on Sunday morning. Other than that, a special word of congratulations and welcome. Kevin McCutcheon is one of our parishioners here at the Cathedral Basilica with his wife, Stephanie. They've been around the Cathedral for 20-some years for the last five years or so, Kevin has been in the Diaconate Formation Program, and this weekend on Saturday, he was ordained a deacon at the hand of Archbishop Aquila at Light of the World Catholic Church in Littleton. And Kevin, now Deacon Kevin, has been assigned right back to the Cathedral Basilica and to St. Elizabeth of Hungary Parish for his deacon assignment. So he will join the other deacons who are with us at the Cathedral Basilica. His first weekend of serving at the altar as a deacon and preaching will be this weekend on the 25th at the 8.30 a.m. and the 10.30 a.m. Masses. So we wish Deacon Kevin all the best. We thank God for his vocation, and we welcome him to the ranks of the cathedral clergy in these days, weeks, months to come. So we're blessed by that. Here at the cathedral, we're looking forward to just a good, normal, peaceful summer. Most of our activities lie low. Of course, all of our normal Masses and confession times and Eucharistic adoration on Sunday afternoons, everything that remains the same. So I hope you and yours have a beautiful summer season and you know God's blessing. And speaking of that blessing, I'll give it to you. The Lord be with you and through the intercession of our Blessed Lady Mary and of all the angels and saints, may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. 
Have a wonderful week, everyone.